There's no denying that the R1 wears the pants in our relationship. A thousand cc's are understandably a lot to manhandle. But all that is about to change. Throughout my years of riding motorcycles, I've found myself wearing more and more gear. I started out as the typical noob, happy to hop on my 125 in shorts and a t-shirt, neglecting gloves. Long trousers quickly became non-negotiable along with gloves. Thankfully that only lasted a few months and by the time I got a 600, a jacket was a permanent fixture on my back. More recently I've adopted proper motorcycle boots with steel toes and ankle support, leaving me feeling naked when I leave home without them. But the one thing I've never had the luxury of experiencing is motorcycle specific jeans, until now. These are the Pando Moto Boss Black 9 motorcycle specific jeans with armor and Kevlar so that you can worry a little bit less about road rash while still looking like a regular human. Although I'm not exactly a fashion icon, so you'll have to let me know what you think. If you haven't heard of Pando Moto, get in line. But that's why they offered to send me these jeans for free to help get their name and what they're doing out there in the motorcycle community. And as it turns out, they're a motorcycle apparel company with a strange name, packaging things quite nicely and designing as well as producing their clothing in Europe. So I accepted their generous offer on the condition that I could do and say whatever I wanted. Also, where do I sign up for tape with my name on it? I realized these weren't your typical jeans as soon as I lifted them out of the box. Without any armor, they're still considerably heavier than I was expecting. It's not at all noticeable while riding, but it's proof that there's more than meets the eye with these fabrics. Stretchy Condura denim and a Kevlar lining in all the right places are the fancy fabrics enabling you to slide down the road at 70 kilometers an hour and most likely still have all of your skin afterwards. These have a double A level rating. And although triple A level jeans exist and even lower rated options are on offer, I would consider 70 kilometers per hour to be the sweet spot for urban riding. In fact, they claim to withstand up to four and a half seconds of abrasion. That's a lifetime of sliding. There is something really satisfying about riding around covered head to toe in gear that was designed exactly for what you are doing. But my favorite feature is these bright yellow squishy things and the less excitingly colored hip padding. They're not the rock solid uncomfortable knee protectors that I was picturing. Their soft silicon texture molds around your knee and actually helps keep the jeans in the most comfortable position. I assume they could absorb an impact, although I'm not willing to prove it, and thick enough to last a slide. Installing and uninstalling is a breeze with the zip on the outside to eliminate faffing when it's time for a wash. The pocket they sit in is also divided into two height options where the higher one has been my go-to to compensate for my shorter legs. It's the same story for the hip padding, although unfortunately this is an optional extra, but is also installed easily with a pocket inside. I almost chose not to use the hip padding because I thought it might make the jeans feel too bulky, but they deserved a shot because they just feel like you have a phone in your pocket. You've probably also noticed that mine are a little big on me. Despite following the sizing guides on the website and using a real tape measure as opposed to my original garage choice, the easiest sizing guide would be to just go for one size smaller than you'd normally wear. The inseam length, however, is perfect. 
they already compensate for the length you will lose when you assume the riding position. So your ankle won't be poking out, meaning you can roll the excess up to expose the reflective strips on the cuffs. It sounds pretty nerdy, but because the strips are blacked out, it actually looks pretty stealthy. It's these little touches that I appreciate, like the key ring below the belt loop, if that's what it actually is. A ring for your keys is all I can think it could possibly be, and feel free to tell me otherwise. Maybe it's purely for design reasons, but as someone who always hooks their keys on their jeans, I was excited to have a purpose-built zone. Except I quickly resorted to using the belt loop like usual, when I realized having my keys so far around the front would scratch my tank. Even if it was one loop further back, it would make all the difference. My R1 is ridiculous when it comes to heat and has these nifty fins that guide hot air coming out of the radiator right at my left ankle. I often end rides with a red patch where the heat creeps in. So it's a nice change to have a decent material between me and the heat. Off the bike, they start to get hot really quickly especially when running around filming these videos. But on the bike, they feel well insulated, even in the insane heat here. If you're not a camera crazed lunatic and just want to go about your normal day with them, then they do just fine. In all honesty, they made me realize how bad quality all my other regular trousers actually are. And I have been tempted to remove the armor and just wear them as everyday trousers. The pockets are solid and deep enough to keep your bike key, phone and wallet secure. The hip armor is more noticeable when walking around, but isn't visible. So if you're trying to hide the fact that you're a biker, it would be easy enough to ditch the jacket, helmet and gloves, put the knee armor in its snazzy storage bag and I doubt anyone would notice. Plus, it will only take a few seconds. I tried hard to find problems or disappointments, but they really have stumped me. You would expect these tough fabrics to be stiff, uncomfortable and itchy, but they're actually covered with a really soft material. Every other piece of gear is a pain to keep clean, so you probably don't want another one. Except they're just regular jeans, so they go straight into the washing machine. Besides the sizing, that is easily remedied, the keyring, that might not even be for keys, it's tough not to like them. The main drawback is that feeling this safe on your bike will probably make you ride faster. But nevertheless, you will be seeing them more on the channel, simply because they're the best option I have. But anyway, let me know what you think about these Pando Moto jeans, or what gear you wear while riding. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next ride.